comes into play here. It will be a difference. Okay, so on the attack here this time round, you've got lots of malls, short swords, Polak's, three units, uh, three play, uh, players are playing Pike. Interesting strategy. We've got IPGs, you've got Modals, you've got Iron Reapers, Palace Guards, some Javelins. Yeah, definitely a mix up. You've got some Serfs obviously to push these Siege Towers here on the attack. And on the defence, you have lots of short swords once again, cuff, like three sets of muskets and Zuzu with the longbow. You've got the Ragnarok as the, lo the, the lone longsword, one pike player, two malls, and in defence you've got Modals, Iron Reapers, Greyhairs, Palace Guards, Zykelian Militia, Iron Reapers, and a unit of Greyhairs as well here. Two sets of units of Greyhairs actually. So it looks like, I think, Holy Crusaders are going to defend the A point. What do you think, guys? Do you think the A point will be defended? I think they are going to defend the A point. It's going to be an interesting strategy this time around. It's going to be a lot different than what we have seen here. I don't see Holy Crusaders... Well, I don't see a Holy Crusader strategy coming in where they just completely disappear from A and B. Doing weed. Welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Guys, hopefully you guys are all enjoying your time here for the CB Rivals here. This is round six. This is game two of two. It is Holy Crusaders versus Odin's Legion. Odin's Legion with a 1-0 advantage after the first battle. Now we switch things around. It is Holy Crusaders on the attack. As you can see, there is no defense destroy the just well just outright leaving the points they are they are going to fully defend here on a and obviously watching b as well in the background players just rotating around to different spots here jinjin gunblader coming down this far right hand side looking at buck taking out all this artillery here so the siege towers will make it on the first push we don't want to be stopping siege towers for sure obviously falconetti gunners are banned so they will no be they won't they pretty much no be taking out any of the any of the siege towers every siege tower should reach depending on how well the muskets do and if the javelins do their work as well. Because there is a couple of units of javelins. There you go, you've got Buck and Drayton with some javelins there that will be trying to hit that siege tower when it comes close. You've got muskets, Ottovan, trying to, to obviously take some damage and do some damage to the siege towers, but I doubt that's going to happen at this point in time. Holding A is definitely important on this map, and like I said, Holy Crusaders didn't do it last map, but Odin's Legion are defending that point they are they are going to definitely defend Scorpios are still up here Zarnat is just able to use that Scorpio still just slowly taking out some units in the background looking for the, the higher level units so they're trying to hit them IPGs that are in the back there you've got all the siege towers starting to hit the points now they're not pushing the B supply point which is very interesting that the B, the B uh, siege tower is still stationary However, both siege towers on the main gate are up and ready to be pushed now. So it depends on the units now. We're going to go back. Serfs are all going to get disbanded while they pick up the main units ready for the push. Nobody has died. There's definitely a couple of heroes. Call me Hedro is killing, killing units. Oh my god. Sorry about that, boys. I push one button, all of a sudden it switches. But yeah, this, this far siege tower is still not getting pushed yet. Will obviously are still there, but as you can see, the defense is ready and rare. And the javelin sergeants are throwing some javs back and forward, just trying to make some units weak before they even make a push, which is a fantastic effort. They've took down the breach here as well, so the breach is down. FDS Light has that defended, though. There is modal through there. And I'm sure that's a set of Fort Abrasio down there as well. So we'll have a look at that in just a second. Oh, it's just Modal in there. So we've got Modal in there as well. Just defending so nobody can go. There is no use of Arte, so nobody's allowed to use Arte. Um, but yeah, there's two banned units which are 
Falconetti Gunners and Senji Grenadiers. As you can see here though, on the push, Holy Crusaders are going all out on one Siege Tower. You've got a couple of heroes on the B side, they've went pushed up the, the wall. Fatboy, Burnoff is going to the side of B. Zuzu the Demon's obviously defending that point at this point in time. Are they going to try and bait in some Trebs here? You've got some Flamers at the top of the wall, but here comes a Treb. He's Trebbing their own units. Are they going to try and push out here? Because units are pushing down here. It was a good Treb, but it does take out a few units but not a major amount of units. Fatboy is now starting to push or push down. You've got some Jav... Is that Javelin Sergeant from Zuzu down there? They're taking the supply point in the back, but you've got FDS Light, Zuzu Demon going to stop that. They're going to stop that cap down there. Well, People is being a brave pike player, jumps in the middle of things and falls to his death. He's the first person down. Tomsky picks up that kill. You've got Gregoros unit kill and kiss my bird. Miss unit has also killed Baby Dragon, so we're almost there. B is getting capped. Yara's came off of the wall and starts capping B, but Buck comes in the back here with some, uh, some Cav. He's going to try and stop that and stop the push. There's a few pillars outnumbering them there in the very back here. Another Treb coming in here from Holy Crusaders. It's not really hit very much. It's, it's, it's managed to move the units off. Burned off. FDS Light's holding as far as he can, as much as he can on that point there. Borngoff and FDS Light, Fatboy. Oh, where's Yada? It's Yada, the short sword versus FDS Light, the short sword. Borngoff has actually left the point, which I thought he would have stayed. Buck is going to have to come back. He is coming back to stop the cap here on the supply point. And as you can see, the units have all went off. B did start getting capped there for a second, though, but that will be because FDS stopped off the point. Buck and Kiss My Bird is coming on the back here. The supply point in the background is getting capped here. Wolfie Slayer and Fat Boys trying to do it, but Buck and FDS Light make it hard work for the boys in the back there. You've got the guys pushing up both Siege Towers here now. They're splitting themselves on the Siege Towers. Kiss My Bird kills Yada down there. He chases after him as the Polax. Yada falls. Wolfie Slayer looks like he might die here, and Fat Boy on the supply point in the background. There's definitely people there able to deal with that in the background. You've got the right-hand siege tower and left siege towers both being pushed at this point in time now. We are ready. And they're going to try and pinch all the guys on the A push here. Well, everybody's fighting. Wolfie Slayer surviving forever. Ace, oh, Buck is picking up the brittle and rotten. And as you can see, the supply is still being fought for. Wolfie Slayer has survived for so long back there. But the push is coming in from both sides here. A full-on push. We're going to see some trebs earlier. We're going to see any trebs on this one because they've pushed so far up. The Holy Crusaders, can they get anything in here? Ruffle dies, Baby Dragon dies. Gregorius is down as well. On the attack, they are down to five heroes alive. The defence is going to push them out a little bit here. Odin's Legion doing a great great job of this defence here. They've lost so many units on the attack. They're down to 592 units already. Their units are just whittling away. There's almost double the amount of units on the defence available. Trebuchet's coming in. But that's not going to really hit much. I think the units are already away from there. It will hit some though. Zuzu the Demon takes that there in the back. Gunblader is having a retreat. Apophysis is also relieving that point there. And as you can see, he eight heroes alive from Holy Crusaders. They are struggling here. In terms of pushing, their units are almost down to half. Wolfie Slayer's going up the BC tower here. Going to try and get another sneak cap in B, but A defense has to be done. As you can see, the A defense can be so solid. Now coming full in into the wall, under the gate here. As you can see, Burnoff, Gregorius, people is down, Fatboy is down, Burnoff is dead. All these guys are just getting themselves forced into death here. They're down to 13 already here. 13 on the attack, 15 on defense. Wolfie Slayer is just watching from up top, but he's not actually doing it. He's waiting until his units get into a position here. They're totally defending aid here. This is it for Holy Crusaders. They have three and a half minutes to get in here, and they only have 470 units or more to go. At this point in time, I, I don't see a push coming in. They split themselves both sides, but the defense is just splitting themselves just as evenly on both sides of the wall and the siege towers. Wolfie Slayer is going to cap the point. Is he good? He's just standing there. He could use that point and that opportunity now. Why is he not capping B now? He should have been doing that a long time before that. B will be getting capped in the background. He waited far too long, in my opinion. 
He could have been capping that a little bit extra to pull as many boys on the A defense down, but he doesn't manage to do it. They've capped it almost halfway. He's going to have to keep pushing off FDS late with his unit, but FDS is just going to survive for as long as possible. The joys of Ironsides, he will run around the map as long as possible. Holy Crusaders are down to 10 players available, 15 alive on the defense. Buck's going to come and support with his cavalry. The Keskis are going to come in and wipe out Wolfie Slayer here. Gunlord is down. The guys from Odin's Legion are going to start pushing towards the wall. They can start pushing down. The tribe's going to come in, but it's maybe a little bit too late. 291 units. It doesn't matter if that tribe kills every single unit that's up on that wall. They just do not have the units for this push. Ruffo is coming outside now. He's going to come outside, come out in the back, and just start annoying players on that siege tower. Ruffo knocks off Fatboy on the thing with the short start. He's going to survive as long as possible here, but the heroes are surviving as long as possible six heroes on the attack are alive all it needs now there's two minutes less than two minutes Gina has left the battle this is this a humiliating them drip drop falls the long sword draw, uh, falls to Drake in here he picks up that kill and we are less than two minutes Gregorius calling a trebuchet just a random treb just for the sake of it because hey ho this game is over pretty much we have six heroes alive in the attack they're just sending the cavalry in all of the boys from Odin's Legion will pick up their second win. This, with 1 minute and 30 seconds, is finally over with. There is nothing that Holy Crusaders can do at this point in time. Now, you're just going to see a sally out. 700 units versus 200 units. 7 heroes alive on the attack. There is just no chance that the boys in blue can turn this around and win the matchup. Ruffles coming out, lots of calf coming out now. All the players are just sitting around in the back. Exodus, some of the players in the attack defense are just leaving the battle because you know what? At this point in time, they're not needed. They don't need it. All the players are out of the game. GG, Odin's Legion, what a win. What a way to do it. That is what you guys have got to do. You got to defend A because you can defend A relatively straightforward. If you have the right rotations and you don't overcommit yourself elsewhere. FDS lights picking up Gunblader, Wolfie Slayer dies to miss, and now there is just two heroes alive, Gunlord and Gregorius fighting out here on the supply point, Gregorius will be out of the battle, Gunlord has left in humiliation, that is GG, that is all she wrote here for that battle, the boys of Odin's Legion with a massive win there, 700 units alive, they're just going to cap the supply points for the fun of it, one more hero, Fatboy, still staying in the battle, just getting chased around. And as we can see, look at this. Call me Hedro. Everybody in the team doing some work. Fat boy surviving long as a mall, but will fall to Buck. Buck picks up the quad kill just as the battle ends. And the red will win that. Odin's Legion does win. And I'm sorry I had the webcam on that whole time. What a fool of me. But guys, Odin's Legion, you have just smashed it out of the park there. You had almost 600 unit difference. By the end of that, that is exactly how you want to see it done as a defense. If that is your defense and you defend like that, you should be very, very happy with yourself. Gunblader with the MVP on the side of the attack, just with the one hero kills, 84 units done. Not very many heroes killed at all. A total of five hero kills for the attack. And it was just, it just, the worst just wasn't any cohesion between the, the players there. There wasn't a coordinated enough, strong enough push. But a very good rotations back and forward from Odin's Legion. MVP goes to Kiss My Bird with the four heroes.